Okay, break uh, is over. Welcome to um, the third uh, part of this symposium on ectoparasites and zoonotic vector-borne pathogens in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, uh, Bacau, Greater Bay area. Um, my name is Bruno Castellaro, and uh, I am the chair of the third that applied uh, um, the third data applied to zoonotic vector borne pathogen session. Uh, as first speaker, I am uh, delighted to uh, invite uh, Ranieri Silva as uh, our first speaker. Ranieri is currently a PhD candidate at the Department of Infectious Diseases in uh, City uh, University of uh, Hong Kong. And uh, he was also previously uh, uh, an executive uh, council member of uh, uh, um, the Carpentries, and he has previous working experience uh, for the Software Sustainability Institute. Ranieri, now you can uh, unmute yourself and you can start uh, sharing uh, your slides. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, yeah. You can. So I'm going to be talking about not this and fair data. Uh, first, I want to acknowledge the contribution of my colleagues for, to this presentation. So let's see there if there is a hypothetic uh, PhD student called Wing Chen here in Hong Kong that is looking to study dengue fever. That's a very uh, common case of uh, mosquito-borne disease. So our PhD student has as a research question, is the Hong Kong government being successful fighting against dengue fever? So to answer this research question, the hypothesis that our PhD student developed is if the number of dengue, dengue fever cases has decreased, then the Hong Kong government has been successful in the fight against dengue fever. To answer this hypothesis, our PhD student will need to collect data regarding the numbers of cases of dengue fever here in Hong Kong, where the PhD student can get this data from. So the data collection can happen from majorly three places, author research papers, the Hong Kong government reports, and private institutions reports. Uh, so let's get our example of a Hong Kong government report that has some dengue fever cases. So this is a screenshot of one uh, of the documents. It's a PDF format, has a nice plot of dengue fever cases from 19, uh, 2009 to 2018. The challenge here for the PhD student is that all the data is already in the form of the chart and they will have to break down that probably manually to extract all the raw information. This is very time consuming for the PhD student and very prone error. So can we do better? So Hong Kong has a data portal uh, located on data.gov.hongkong.hk that it provides lots of data. So let me give you a short example. So here is the browser I already loaded data.gov.hk. There is a search bar here on the middle of the screen and I can search for dengue. So as a search result, we are going to see two uh, entrants. The first one is statistics on dengue fever and the second one is survey areas. So let's click on the first one, statistics on dengue fever. The Hong Kong government provides some statistics. Uh, the first one here from 2002 in English and scrolling a little bit, also in traditional Chinese. I'm going to scroll down until the end to see what's the last uh, report. So the last report is from 2001 and also provide both in English and traditional Chinese. So let's get one example, the first one of how this data is. So I can click and download it. You can see that the download was completed here on the top. Let me open it. So here is the file that was downloaded. Uh, there's first column with month, second one with imported cases, third column with local cases, and the fourth and last column with the total number of cases. So the information is already break down very clear, inter interoperable for the PhD student. 
which will save a lot of time and be less error prone. So let me go back to my slides. So how this helps the PhD students? It can collect all the information since 2002 and to 2021, which will be way more data than he would be able to extract from that PDF, for example. Uh, and the answer to the uh, research question uh, following our hypothesis is that the Hong Kong government hadn't do a lot of great work, or at least the actions had not been very successful. The drop in 2020 and 2021 probably is because of COVID and insufficient data was collected. So moving forward, uh, the Guangdong also has their own portal located on gdata.gd.gov.cn and Macau has also their data portal at data.gov.no. Uh, the majority of the biggest portal is the one in Hong Kong from the three ones presented. So for the rest of this presentation, I'm going to focus on the China and focus on mosquito ticks and mites. I'm going to show three papers uh, that are uh, literature review, uh, focus on these uh, three vector borne pathogens. So the first one is mosquito, it's focused on this uh, data set published on scientific data that covers mosquitoes and the associated virus. I extracted, uh, they published the data on Figshare and I extracted some information from the published data. So in terms of cities, uh, most of the data was collected in Guangzhou, followed by Ufu and Shenzhen. Uh, the most common virus is the Japanese encephalophytes and the dengue virus uh, in Guangdong. Uh, and the mosquitoes in Guangdong, the most common one is the Salux uh, quinquagenius and the Aedes arborsitus. Data from Macau and Hong Kong was not available uh, on this paper. Uh, there's a few photos of the two popular mosquitoes that was mentioned the previous slide. Uh, the second one, um, tick. So it's a paper from Zank, uh, also published in scientific data. Uh, the data was available, is available in Figshare, and I extracted some data related with Wandong. So in terms of ticks, what is the most common one? Is the ring fellows, sanguinasus, uh, with uh, way more numbers of compared with the other ones. Uh, these are examples of the ticks. Uh, the data is very limited in compared with the previous one regarding mosquitoes. Uh, there is one entering uh, covering Hong Kong, uh, and the tick species is a Haemophilus magnesius. Uh, no photo was available online when I search, and no data regarding Macau. The last one, mites. Uh, also from scientific data. This one was published by Meng. Uh, so what are the cities in this study uh, in Guangdong? The most one is Zanjing, followed by Jiamen. And the, no, the mites, the most common one is the L de Liens, followed by the G Parapacifica and G Chinese. Uh, here are uh, one photo of the mite. Also, uh, this is, uh, does include any information covering Hong Kong or Macau. So my take home message for you from this presentation is that fair data published by the governments and research can save a lot of projects time. Published fair data generates citations for you and publications of fair data is your new frontier in the ectoparasites and zoonotic vector borne pathogens fields. I only found, as I mentioned, three papers covering China. It would be really interesting to have way more papers on doing this kind of data. So thank you very much. I will stop sharing now uh, and leave Bruno continue with the session. Okay. Thank you very much, Daniel. Your presentation was really interesting and well explained.